everybody. I am 469. My name is David Tyrell. I'm a, you know, a, a young guy looking to make his way in the world. My specialty is AI. I am looking to fund my own company and do a startup and get into AI. I'm working on a project called the Nexus One. And what I could really use is some money. I don't care who stands in my way. I will run over them if I have to. Who knows with that money what I can do with it. I think I'll call it the Tyrell Corporation. But for now, I'm just here to be on the Coat Lords Challenge and have a good time. Welcome back in, Cult Lords fans. Here to do another series wrap up and review for you. Mm -hmm. This one is for the Squid Game, the challenge. For those of you who have not known this was out there. Yeah, I think most people know that this is out there now. <laughs> I, I, actually, I beg to differ. I, I found some people still have not known this was even out there. Mm -hmm. Suffered, I think, from, I think, I think Netflix thought it had enough uh, hype that they didn't have to do anything, but it did not appear out there. I mean, well, did you know it was even started when it first came out? Yeah. Because I didn't know it. Yeah. And I just stumbled on it, and then... I thought I told you about it. Yeah, maybe you told me about yeah, it. So I, I was I like, told you yeah, about and I told Rick. Yeah. Rick at our famous favorite comic book store. Yeah. So he, uh, and I'm going to... Graham Cracker Comics. Graham Cracker Comics, Rick. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. And I, I asked him if I can recount this story he told me. He was, he was, he didn't know there was a Squid Games challenge. Him and his bu gamer buddy were out. They were, they were playing until one in the morning. And then he told his buddy, did you know there's a Squid Games challenge? So they watched one episode. And his friend's like, we gotta watch all of them! And Rick's like, no, it's one in the morning. I can't watch nine hours of TV. So they have to schedule a time so they've both been holding off. And I'm like, really? You you gotta really avoid like who won and right. all that stuff. But yeah. I mean, that's how like, it's, you get drawn in that first episode. Oh, yeah. and he said his buddy was like swearing at him. Yeah. And like, what? Come on, we gotta watch more. And he's like, I got kids. I can't yeah. stay up till nine, six in the morning. Luckily, I did the binge of five next week four and then last week one and i did five of them with you didn't i i, I binged the five again with you <laughs> oh, after i had after oh, seen right. all five yeah, that's right you introduced me again yeah. you're yeah. like let's watch this and like we gotta watch more yeah well we were like i was like oh, let's just i'll watch the first episode yeah. with you and i was like okay i'll watch the second episode with you and i'm like we're gonna watch all five episodes like so <laughs> Uh, Fortunately, it was not one or two in the morning. Yes. Yeah. Well, I did leave around midnight. Rick, though. you know, you've got a lot of great TV to watch. And Gr Rick gave you a deal on these masks. I know. He? Thank you, Rick. We've got the also the manager mask. Yeah. Mm. You're the guy that cleans up poop masks. Oh, okay. All right. Well, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit the like button. We always need double digit likes and then tell us in the comments, did you like Squid Games The Challenge? Have you, you never heard of it? Are you gonna apply to be on the next one? I know. They have open I saw, auditions. I was actually thinking about that. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. But you know how many people must be applying oh, to this thing. Oh my gosh, yeah. You gotta have a compelling story. You gotta have a, a truly, horrible background it seems like to you know well <laughs> not too many of them had good backgrounds they all had like yeah. tough backgrounds yeah. why they need Are the money i mean like Squid where Game. was the you that's know that's like, how the original show was well no but right? there was one guy he was like a like a multi-millionaire like ceo but i guess he squandered all his money and he was like living this high flutin lifestyle remember any but he didn't tell anybody how broke he was that's why he accepted the challenge because he needed money but um oh well so let's talk squid game challenges however i was gonna two say. things <laughs> if you have not seen this and you don't want it ruined for you Spoiler alert! We're going into heavy spoilers. So, 
If you don't want to hear the spoilers, hit pause, challenge yourself to go watch all 10 episodes of the Squid Game Challenge on Netflix, then come back and share with us what you thought down in the comments and then tell us if you liked what we had to say about the show, if we liked yeah. it or not. All right, second thing, Dane, we always start off with a drink and mm -hmm. I understand you yeah. have a special drink for us. I do. I always try to find something that works with the movie. Sometimes it's just general stuff. Or series, which is or this. Or series, series in this case. So this is a liqueur from Korea, specifically South Korea. Oh, yeah. I mean, not North Korea. I couldn't find anything. They don't have North. a thriving industry of shipping <laughs> uh, alcohol drinks to the Strangely, United States. Strangely, no. Okay. Things that make you go, huh? Yeah. So uh, it's Jinro. The world, it says the world's number one selling spirit brand. This is the 24, which is 24% alcohol. This is the uh, s just, I don't know, Chamosel or something like that. It's more like 16%. I have. I heard these so were on say the sweeter this, side. Say this like you think a Korean person would say. Shira. Like that? I don't know. Like real fast like that? Shira. I thought it'd be like, general. I don't know. I, I was, sometimes when I pay attention to like what they're saying on uh -huh. camera and then I see it, I'm like, it doesn't sound really like that, but they're like almost like saying it very quickly and like glossing over. There's some. these two YouTubers that are Asian. I think Seoul, one is, Korea. One is Korean and then I think the other one is Chinese. Let's do this. And they talk about Asian accents and they do the Korean yeah. accent. And it's really funny. They do the Japanese accent. Wow. This smells. We'll put a little bit up here for you to see. What does Korean sound like to you? Imitate it. Uh, so that's like what it sounds like to me too. <laughs> 100%. This smells interesting. All right. Well, this All right. is. 24%. Little hair of the dog, if you will. I don't know. We'll see. It's <laughs> definitely hair of the dog. Yeah. Oh, man. Mm. It tastes like what they rub on your arm before you get a shot. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. This is interesting. What is this made of? Jinro. Uh, I think it's another rice based. Is it rice? Spirit. It, I don't think it says on that, but the guy at the store told me that that's what this from. It doesn't say this, but it says this perfectly comments barbecue. Compliments barbecue and yeah. BBQ. Okay. Adds to cocktails. I can see it adding to cocktails. Mm. Okay. It's got definitely a weird when you smell it. Enjoying the world's best selling soju. What does that smell like? Like paste? What does it smell like? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's not super bad, but it's definitely like kind of, right. kind of a, like a taste. Let's move on. Talk about squid games. So wait, I got another one, but go ahead. I'll just interject that one in later. All right. We're doing this. All right. So I thought this was a very compelling competition yeah. show. So like I watch Survivor every week. I've watched oh. like almost every season. I, and I've watched other reality game shows, you know. Like I'm not a fan of like The Amazing Race or Big Brother, I don't but watch I've, any of that. I've watched those things before. <laughs> this one though, Squid Games, to me was probably one of the most compelling uh, TV competitions I've seen, but I think it was because we watched the actual series and like in the series, you know, penalty for being eliminated, eliminated is your death. You're right. And they kill you. Right. So now of course they can't make a TV show where they kill you. Right. But they can try to make it seem as dire. And oh, so yeah. with those little, you know, with the tension they build up, mm -hmm. those explosions that happen. Yeah, and we should say, everyone, that they, they have a little, like, uh, explosion ink pack, which right. you had mentioned this. I yeah. agree. It should have been red. They should have made, made it red. like a dark black. But I, I think I if like, it, it looked would blow. red, if it looked red and it looked like blood, yeah. maybe that would be too much for some people. Right. But uh, if to get the idea that they're actually being killed off and eliminated, I think they should have made those dye packs red. Yeah. And, just, oh. and it was funny because obviously it wasn't hurting anybody, but right. it was enough that it would startle some people. It would startle because they were expecting. Right. I mean, a lot of people were like, oh, 
But yeah. then they'd be like, oh, yeah. oh, you know, they'd sink down. And there had to be a contractual thing that said, if you get killed, you if you get this goes off, you have to sink. Well, no, because I, nobody I, faked it. Nobody like, no, nope, I'm walking I don't know out if it's here. necessarily contractual, but they probably laid down some or, rules and said, and by the way, if you do get eliminated, what we need you to do is this. We're trying to give the illusion of this is a dire situation if you get eliminated, so you gotta act like you die. Yeah. So everybody's like, okay, if I get eliminated, I'll act like I die. Right. So. And um, if you don't, you're not on camera. Now, what's interesting, the the first game or first challenge they had was red light, green light. Yeah, with the giant robot. Yeah, I mean, it, girl. Would, it would sing this song and then turn around and be like red light, mm -hmm. and then you had to stop and freeze. Now. You and I were wondering why are like there are people laying down on the ground, right. right? I had a talk with one of my friends who like kind of you know r read some behind the scenes stuff. Did you know that red light green light game took eight hours to film? <laughs> so a lot of times, like while they were moving around the camera, they had to s sit in the same position and not move. So that's why the one girl who squatted was going, why did I squat? You know what uh. I mean? I'm literally in so much pain, but I cannot move. I cannot move. Keep focused. You can do this. Don't be a baby. You can't give up now. Because we were wondering, like, look, she's squatting for like 15, 20 seconds. Big deal, right? Yeah, that's kind of a rip. Yeah. I mean, they, now they she's, have a, yeah. she's squatting for 30 minutes. Now I see where the leg bird's coming in. Right. You know what I mean? I'm kind of surprised they would do that, that they right. would keep people for 30 minutes. Well, they moved cameras around and yeah. did stuff and it, they, went, you know. Right. I mean, that's kind of like cheating the spirit of red light green light you're not really right. supposed to make people you know it's but, supposed to be five but, minutes but that explains a lot because there was a crap lot okay. of people that got eliminated in yeah the first step that well game. and we were wondering like why are people like laying face first on the ground right well that's the most relaxing position to be if you have yeah. to wait 20 minutes right right so uh so now i understand if that is true my friend told me that story mm. so but yeah so they they go through the games Red light, green light, then the cookie game, which was also from the game. Right. You know, now the third game was Battleship, which did not appear yeah. in the Squid Games actual series. So I think that was kind of an Americanization of the game. And they had put in Battleship. Battleship. They had the, you know, they had the, the, well, the one thing they didn't do was the tug of war. Tug of war. But right. they did the glass bridge. Right. They did the glass and that bridge. that was after this one. Yeah. So you might be right. I just feel like there was more time in between, but maybe. I think there might have been in between one and two, one of the tests. Uh, there was a test where the guy and girl went and like where they were peeling carrots and then they were told they had to eliminate somebody. Mm hmm. And remember they, I can't remember who they eliminated, but they felt bad. Like, oh my gosh, you know, we eliminated somebody. Yeah. And, 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 and if I was going to have a critique of this season, that was it. There was a lot more chance going on in here like, yeah. that I don't remember from the first thing. Well, you can't do stuff right. to kill people, I mean, right? Right. But like, for example, you know, they did do the glass bridge, which I was interested to see. How are they going to do that? How are they going to do that? I would Still love to see a behind the scenes thing. Like, because when they, like, they that actually would be a great jump. series in itself. They actually jump on the glass, and then it looks like they have to wait for a second. And then when it opens up, they fall. And I would love to see how far they fall. Because, it, you know, they show, like, a miniaturization of people falling. Like, oh. Right. But yeah. there's, like, no sound to it. Yeah. So I, I'm sure they're falling into a foam pit of some sort. Right. But I would love to see how far they fell. I would love to see yeah. that. Like if the camera goes up and shows right. like, what happens when you fall in that? But I, they probably won't do it because that destroys the, uh, the, the illusion, the, the of, illusion yeah. of death. Yes. So, so you, you, you got, as we said, you know, the marble game, the cookie game, the marble game was rough because it was based on who you chose for a picnic. I know. And everybody chose somebody close that they wanted to be with. Right. Except 
and then they had to eliminate them. You know what I mean? So I thought that so was it, very clever. Right. And, and and I agree with you on that. I mean, because that was where the mom and the son. Right. That was but because they didn't remember, do that in the original. This was a weird right. series in that the mom and a son, those right. were the only two relatives. Well, they were the only ones connected, yeah. Which I, I wonder if they did that, like, all right, well, allow this. Yeah. Because no one else had the same thing. All right. Like, how, I'm not, Yeah, because guess what happens if the mom wins the whole thing? Right. The son's getting some money. Yeah. Same right. way. So, you know, a lot of people who are contestants realize that. I think they made a mistake by saying they were mom and son. True. And then then another mistake is, do you remember when, I, I, I think that was episode five, where they had the picnic. And then when they realized they were going to have to play marbles, we had to wait a week for episode six to see, like, how does the marble game turn out? Yeah. But I told you, I said... If they ever tell you to pair up, do not pair up somebody with you want to be with. Yeah. You pair up with somebody else because more than likely you're going to have to eliminate each other. And I said, oh, they made a big mistake by picking each other on yeah. the picnic. Well, and to your point, it was like a lot of people came into this game already fully expecting it to be like the Squid Game. All right. And they were the, the producer of the show this, were clever in that they, they, changed yeah, things. they changed things up. Like there was no... Because, I mean, if the original show had the picnic thing, there's no way anyone would have paired up. It yes. would have turned into a, I'm going to be with you. I want to yeah. be with you. I yes. mean, so if we have to eliminate each other. Right. Yeah. And, you know, it was interesting to see some of the dynamics that happen along the way of, like, people observing other people's groups. Like, oh, oh look at, yeah. look at well, all the jocks over there. That was a big takeaway. No alliances. Yeah. Do not form any alliances. Or show your alliances, right? Which like, is good. Well, because because what would happen is you would you would hang with the same people every day. Yeah. Showing that, you know, you've created this alliance and that's where people would be observing. And they're like, look at that group over there. You know, the I need to break them up. We need to break them up. You it know was, what I mean? Yeah. And it was, let's face it, a political aspect to this. In there a was lot of ways. I mean, yeah. there was a lot of like, well, we can't have the boys, all the boys together. Yeah. yeah. And there was a whole um, uh, uh, girls push, alliance. Girls alliance. Ah, yeah. oh, I'm feeling annoying. At the whole situation. Us girls need to stick together. Yeah. It's like nine girls. Because it's going to be us against them. Yeah. There's only nine girls in here. How we have to stay together. And I guess up to that point, and, and although we didn't sense it because nobody had declared it, there was kind of like there know, was an men imbalance. That were all like, yeah, going was, against. See, I would have liked to have known the original stats of the four. 56 was it pretty even guys and girls i bet you it was pretty close but i bet you that very first challenge which took away over half the contestants yeah i bet a lot of the women went on that elimination right the, you mean they left or they they were able to they were eliminated early? yeah they were eliminated yeah, yeah so maybe. that's why suddenly you maybe right. had an imbalance yeah you know the guys were a little bit faster again because i think when they, they the women formed their alliance it was they said something like it was 22 guys and like seven women nine women left, or something or nine like that. Women left. and all nine women made it through after that yeah well now right. here's the part i'm opening the other one to try it out oh okay this is the less than 24%, 16%. Oh, what's this one called? This is called Jinro Shamasol Fresh. Mm. Oh my God. What a beautiful name. It smells it's, like paste. I didn't feel very fresh until I had this. It smells like, like deodorant, <laughs> like a non, like a deodorant with no scent. Mm. Mm. I think this is strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. Whew. When you smell it, doesn't it? It smells like a deodorant, like a paste or something like that. I mean, it's so I weird. Don't, I don't know why you Sorry, so I told it was the only thing that was Korean. Yeah. Yeah. I had to have something Korean. And that's why you know I got what small would be good bottles, with this? by the way. Some sort of citrus juice. Like, yeah. like it has to be mixed. It's like extremely orange bland. juice with this would be good. So yeah, it's very, very bland. Oh, okay. Well, Force so down. let's talk about the part. The challenge. That yes. made me so mad. Uh -oh. You know what? There was nobody in this show that I like. I hate that person. I don't want that person to win. Mm. Except for one person. Can you guess which one person that Should is? Should we stop now and let people respond? All right. <laughs> Who do you think I hated in this show? <laughs> one person. Well, it's going to be 
I don't know what her number was, but the lady who on the glass bridge refused to take her shot, uh-huh. like everybody had agreed to. Yeah. And everybody before her did. Yeah. But when it got to her, she's like, I'm not doing it. I didn't and, agree to this. Yeah, I didn't agree to this. And you know what I would have done if I was that son? The son guy who, who ends up being eliminated here? Oh, he, he yeah, does yeah, like, the he son. Does, He's like, I'm just going. I'm, I'm gonna, just going to go. I'm going full honor. I'm just going to keep going. And oh, you happens. know what I would have done if I were him? I just would have sat down and say, okay. No one's going. No one's going because time's clicking and I did my part that we agreed to. I took the shot 50-50 and I made it. So now who's going to go? Then what I would have done is if I was somebody before number five, I think she was like number five, like in the challenge. Okay. Okay. So after, after the sun goes falling through and now she wants to move up. And then everybody moved up ahead of her and took their 50-50 shot. She right. once again stood there. I would have been moving up and said, I would have said to her, because at that moment, like the she was standing on a perfectly glass panel, but the, the panel next to her was empty. I would have gone on the outside of her and said, Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a jump here. Can you can you move over? And I would have had her move closer to the middle. Then I would have shoved her. You would have went that way. I would have shoved her <laughs> into the glass hole and said, bye-bye. And then I would have looked at everybody and I'd say, look, I didn't want to do that, but she had zero yeah. honor in this. That pissed me off. Now I'm gonna go take my 50-50 shot for everybody here. Right. And you know. If I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. Yeah. So, I mean, and, and it was an interesting study in psychology because when she refused to do that, we as the audience had a very much of a view of that. Right. She's like, well, I didn't agree to this. I'm not doing this. And then the only person of all the other 20 people behind her, only my, said yeah. anything about it, was, it. She was the only one who was so upset right. that she's like, you need to be eliminated because you were dishonorable. Yeah. And then and, you find out my was in the military. Yeah. And this is not what you do with right. your teammates. If somebody had done that, I can't trust you anymore. Right. Right. And then, but, was but then everybody surprised. else was like, 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 no one else like went along with that. Yeah. Like, Nobody else was that upset. I would have been so upset. So yeah. I think they were just almost at that point so glad that they had made it th- that far that they're like, oh, well, let's move forward. But yeah. I'm not going to trust that. I mean, woman. the person's not technically really dead. So right. I guess you can't make too much of an issue of it. But still, I right. mean, I completely agree that I was like, why didn't everybody else go against her? I just wish I could have been there to push her off the bridge <laughs> and say bye bye. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. So, yep. um, all right. So what did you think about, let's go to the last challenge. Cause there was another challenge where you had to put a gift on the desk and people had to figure you know, out, get, who, figure did out who did it. it. And... But now you go to the dinner and then you had to, once again, it's choice. It's chance. You had to pick one of the three that was going to light up red, green, or neutral, yeah. right? Gray, green. So, gray, green, so, red. so my goes first. She puts the neutral, and then then the beer she guy. She was definitely had a lot of luck in those last two games. So when we come to the God. the end, and the game is based on rock paper scissors here. Mm-hmm. We got the rock, rock and scissors. It's based on rock, paper, scissors each round. Then you have to get a key and try to open up the vault. Right. And then you find she out. She was absolutely killing Phil right. on this. Well, because, is- because she said... And I don't, I don't know, like, I think she's like an investigator today or something like that. Yeah, she is, but. Right. But she was saying men are always aggressive and they always want to pick the rock or they always want to pick the scissors to cut the paper, Uh but they rarely want to choose the paper. And when you watch round after round, it seemed like Phil was either choosing scissors or rock. Yeah. Scissors or rock. She had him. She had his number and she had said that, you know, her background was definitely full-on despair i mean she talked yeah. about she was in vietnam right. if i remember correctly and she then came she, over with the boat people right and witnessed like people getting killed all around her mm-hmm. and she said and so when they get to that particular scene with that she's like i was a kid and we would play these games all the time and i got really good at it because i could figure out what the boys would do blah 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 right. and then and so yeah i mean i <coughs> 
even <laughs> though there was a game of element of chance there, there was a lot of you got to go pick that thing up. And right. maybe one could say Phil was not thinking it through. At one point, they said she was keeping, she, you know, she's like, I'm keeping track of everything he's doing. Right. And it's like, well, I assume he's doing that too, but no. maybe he's not. He's I mean, not. And it was just like, he's just going random and he's just going and he's, and he's, cycling between rock and scissors and i'm like oh my gosh he's he's so obvious you know yeah. with this you know what i mean right so what she but by doing that she he's cutting down her odds from one and three to basically one and two and of what she needs to do and it's just you know she did a lot of right guessing and and So she won. Yeah. And then it was kind of cool when it was all over. They kind of showed everybody. I almost wanted a little bit more of that show. I do. I did. Too. Right. Everybody in their home. Because they kind of. What they're blocked. doing. And, I, and I'm wondering if those things at the very end were all filmed after the series was officially wrapped up. Or I think it was. Like very much. Because it, her, her hair was cut. My. Oh, yeah. She came in with long hair. And then when they go to it, she's got short hair. And she goes and puts her card she, and it still has $4.56 yeah. million dollars yeah. on or something like that. Yeah. So, like, I'm wondering, like, could she have said to Phil, like, hey, look, if I win $4.56 million, uh, you know, it's just down to us two. I will give you $200,000, which is not a lot of money out of the whole sum, but enough to make a difference in your life if you do the same for me. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, if you win the four point five six million dollars, give me two hundred thousand dollars. Right. Can they have done that, you think? Or is that maybe against the rules? Well, I mean, I'm sure it's I think they I bet it's against the rules because it'd be like colluding. But I mean, it is colluding. And but I mean, it's like people. Were, but but contrary to that, people can colluding the entire time. Like right. if you're in the end, I'm going to give you know, like the guy that the redhead guy, the Irish guy. And yeah. he was like, oh, you make it to the end. I'll get you a, a, beer. Know, a beer or whatever. I mean, but I'm assuming different. it was a little bit more than a beer. I mean, right. I mean, you know, something like that. So there was a lot of that going on. Like, okay, you will like the whole group. We'll all get together, work our way to the end. And so the premise of the show is that in the very end, the last two people are not going to have an alliance, but right. they could. Yeah. I well, because like, what if it what was if the, both just said, what if it was the bearded guy versus Phil? They were friends all along. Yeah, like you know, I, mean? I, I was kind of thinking, what is going to happen here in the end? And if one of them wins, the other one's going to get like a million dollars. I forgot. That. So we talked about the mother and the son being the only combo. Actually, Mullet guy and his best friend went, and his best friend got eliminated in the very first minute on Red Light Green Light. And the Mullet guy sees his friend go down. He's like, "Well, we're competitive, and yeah. you know, but we're friends. But I want to beat him." You know, and I got to move on, you know. And, so. and leading the mullet guy, then they get a group together. Yeah. And it's the oldest guy in the whole place. Yeah. I'm going to use my age as an asset. You know, no one thinks I'm a threat. And they think, you know, I'm frail. But I'm not really frail. And he's somehow survived. You find out he's a physician or whatever, yeah. and he's done all this other stuff. And they form, like, you know, a group a of friend more like alliance. buddy, you know, like yeah. they're like, we're not going to kill everybody. I mean, you know, and then, so then one of the women, like, goes after him. She sees, She's like, she no. sees that. I'm going, I'm going after him. And actually, she had three people to choose for elimination. And I felt so bad. First one she chooses was somebody who just won a, a challenge uh, yeah. went next to her and got like uh, an advantage. First guy gone. Yeah. And he's like, me? Me? I me? just did it. Yeah. What? Yeah. It was a tall guy, right? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. A tall, skinny guy. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was, it, in the end, it, to me, it was a really well done show. And, you know, I loved how they built the tension. I love how they kept a lot of themes of the game 
and you know made it seem like there were dire consequences to being eliminated even though you know you're just you know you get a poof right and you're you're just out of the competition it was definitely a study in psychology yes because i mean especially when they were all like all the beds would keep getting eliminated yeah. and there's suddenly like two of them in this yeah. giant room i mean yeah and the money kept falling down and yeah and then in the end, she gets a gold American Express. I wonder how much American Express paid for that. I don't think it was American ad. Express. I don't think it was? No. It was something different. It was like United or something oh, like that. Oh, I could have thought it was No, it wasn't, gold. it wasn't American Express. So uh, they should have. They should have done a title. I think it was. Uh, they didn't do it. I no? promise you. Okay. Yeah. It was some other name. So, but uh, yeah. So, you know, now they're casting for season two. And, you know, I'll probably watch it. And of course... The actual Squid Games sequel is coming up here in like January or something mm -hmm. like that. So this is this was a great way to get you excited for the next series is to yeah. give you a little Squid Game taste. But hey, guess what? It's it's real. It's a real competition. Right. Not, so yeah, and, and, and you know, and actually on that point, I mean, the original Squid Games in just like the the, the second season, they're scripted. So I mean, the writers know who's going to win in the end. Right. I mean, it's just in this one. Nobody has any idea. So, right. I mean, you imagine that 456, whatever it was, yeah. players, they had to interview every single one of them for like an hour. Yeah. And you know what? Up front. They, so they interview them. And then, you know, the three finalists, the yeah. guy with the beard, Phil, the long hair. Yeah. And, and my. They don't even feature them for the first two episodes. Oh, yeah. And that was another thing. Right. All these people that. And actually, I think that worked really well. All right. these people kind of came out of the background. Suddenly yes. They that, come to the background. Right. To the foreground as people get eliminated. So what they do is they get you invested in other people's stories and you're kind of rooting for or against yeah. them. And then once they are eliminated, they start slowly introducing you to another crop. Of, it's like Game of Thrones. Yeah. They just get rid of people that you've all of a sudden got to tie to. And yeah. you're like, what? Yeah. They didn't make it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, oh, wow. yeah I thought it was pretty good. So, yeah. um, and pretty I, pretty good. I, it was top notch. Oh, it was top notch. Yeah, it was, it was, was definitely awesome. in my top eight TV series of the you year. Know, I mean, I was like trying to get my wife to, and she heard a little bit. She's like, oh, it's too high drama. I'm not watching that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, but we've had other people tell us like, oh, thanks for introducing us to that. Cause man, it was, I, I have a friend who's a psychologist and I was like telling her, you gotta watch this show. I haven't heard back from her yet, but mm. she was like, oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> I just had somebody text me yesterday that yeah. I, that I told to watch this. And then she goes, you were right. Squid Game is good. <laughs> right? So I'm like, told you. All right. So. Um, Sucks you in. Yeah. So tell us what you think down in the comment section. Did you enjoy Squid Games? Was there any other interesting stories that you found interesting in this? Uh, would you have pushed the girl off the glass bridge like me? Or would, or did you think that that was a good str strategic move? There are some people defending her saying that was her strategy. She made it past that bridge based on her strategy. So but, you can't fault her. But again, she went against the team, the group. Because yeah. so, if they all did it. Is that a rule of script game that you have to go no, along I'm with not, the group? I, but no. I, I'm just playing devil's advocate right now. I, well, you know I, I mean? completely agree with you. There was no rule there. Yeah. But what I was more upset about, yes, yeah, she did something valid. Nobody else went against her, all right. except for mine. And yeah. then all of a sudden, mine became the tar like a target. Oh, the like target. People were pissed at her. Like, uh, what? Because <laughs> she tried to eliminate her yeah. for, for that. In the dice game. In the dice game. So, yeah, that was another game. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, tell us what you think. Did you enjoy it? Was there any... Any other areas of that we haven't mentioned that you thought were interesting as far as strategy or, you know, personalities of people? Uh, you know, let us know. Who are you cheering for? I don't know if I was cheering for anybody specific, but I do find myself kind of maybe hoping for the sun. I was I, like, I wouldn't have minded if he won. Yeah, I, I, for I some definitely reason. that group was yeah. the one you put a lot of, and they showed them a lot. Of I camera. also liked the girl from England who was the oh, gamer. The yeah, and she was, and she was, she ran a 
like awesome great. game of Battleship right. by putting everything on the sides and corners, basically, expecting everybody to fire in the middle. And I, that was yeah. that was impressive. It was a lot me. of, I mean, you really felt pulled into that yeah. scene too, because I mean, you were like, yes, yes. You know, she did a great job. And then yeah. unfortunately, she- I liked the old guy. how she got cut out. It was- I liked the old guy. Thank you. Thank you all. 69. Best birthday ever. Without the film, best birthday ever. If you saw earlier, there was the competition where TJ wanted to be captain. He goes up, he's captain, he, and he's the basketball player. Mm -hmm. And he gets to choose like people to move on to the next round. Now, all that day, building up to that test, my and her friend, I think it was Chad, maybe it was Chad, was that his name? I can't remember his name, the bearded guy, the big bearded guy. Yeah, I think it was Chad. I think it was Chad. They were talking crap about how they couldn't trust him. He's just playing this game and he can get, and then he chooses my, and then she gets all emotional and she says, I'm sorry. I kind of talked some bad crap about you today because I didn't trust you. And here you are putting your trust in me. I feel bad. And he's yeah. like, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Of course, then he goes out like real soon. So. But and it was and, and 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 it was interesting because from a team rah rah spirit standpoint, he definitely was out there, and mm -hmm. everyone was pissed mad at him. <laughs> right. Like, right. Oh right. him! I don't want to deal with this. Yeah. And it was like, he was too rah rah. He was too rah rah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So um. So no, I thought it was a great show. I love to hear from the Cult Lords viewers. What did you think? You know, just make sure to put it down in the comments. We'll comment back, but you know, let's have a dialogue. Are you excited for season two? Are you gonna try out for season two? Yes. You're gonna open it up and say, put me in it. I'm ready to lick some cookie. And uh, you know. It will be interesting if they do this again, are they gonna keep the exact same setup? I That's what I was trying to figure, like how much is going to be the same thing? Is it gonna be like, instead of a cookie, they yeah. suddenly have another food product? Because you know what, now, <laughs> like how, how do you watch this first one and then go in there and choose Umbrella? You saw oh. how many people died on Umbrella? Right. I mean, like, the, you, can't, you can't do that again. I mean, you know and that I mean? guy was scorned. Oh. After. And I felt so bad for that guy. I'm mean, like, oh, what yeah. are you going to do? I mean. He was, like, having stomach issues. He was, like, about to throw up. <laughs> hey, please stop crying, bro. Jesus Christ. You don't stand there and enjoy it, right? Stand there. But, I mean, but that's, I mean, and that's the beauty of the show is that it's such an intense psychological, uh, compressing experience that, you know, yeah. like that guy, you could just see it where he was like, oh, and you know what? I was, I was telling yeah. some friends, it's easy for us to be, you know, quarterback uh, or couch quarterbacks, right? From the couch, we can say, oh, I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't do that. You put yourself into that situation where you're cut off from the world, you're not talking to your family, you are here with a bunch of strangers, you're in a high intense, you know, situation where you have to make decisions, you probably start thinking differently and you start acting differently. Mm -hmm. and, and then suddenly things probably seem, like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and you're gonna be emotional, right? right? So and, I don't know. And you got like 50 people all like pissed at you yes. 40 or whatever it is. I mean, you know. Yeah, because you chose Umbrella. Right. So, But I don't know. to your point, and I think the next game, if they do that again, you're gonna have like a, because a, a, that was the one thing that did not happen. Nobody came to blows. I, uh, I, I don't know if that was because they said absolutely not. Right. Or they were keeping things off camera. But there was a couple of times I'm like, this seems like this is coming up there. But well, there was a went. one time where I think it was 432. The English uh, athlete kid who was like one of the jocks. Yeah. He was the one everybody was like looking at going, oh, look at this guy doing the push ups over there. There was a time where he was like, there was a guy he didn't dig and he followed him down the stairs. And he's like, I'll fight you right now. Remember that? He goes, yeah. I'll fight you right oh, yeah, now. Right. Yeah, and right. so, you know, there are times where, you know, temper swearing. That guy, I think it was like the, the Indian guy who got on the phone. 
you know, and was trying to commit. This was the guy he was mad at. Remember the guy who got on the phone and tried to have to convince people to come pick up the phone? Right. And he ordered the hamburger. Like, no. He, he got the hamburgers and everything, and everybody came and just took his food. There, I would have been fighting people. Like, you're not getting this unless right. I tell you you can have this. And there was no so, payoff to that. There was, editing. yeah. So, so yeah, there was uh, there was a lot of stuff, but you know, still I can't wait. Great for, series. Great can't series. Can't wait till the next one. Yeah. No shame, Bell. We're just giving you the applause. Yeah. So Dane, how do you yes. want to challenge and get us oh, out of here? I don't know. I'm like, rock I paper scissors. Like, oh, that would work properly, yeah, wouldn't it? Great. All right, here we go on camera. Rock, one, two, three. three. Uh oh. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>